The key word in this fixture was desire and from the start Dundee United's was much greater than that of the visiting side from Fife. Alex Smith's team almost took an early lead when Derek Lilly found himself in an ideal position to score from Thompson's cross. The threat of relegation has been hanging around Tannadice for the entire season and the recent defeat by St Mirren has extended the tension surrounding the club. Stephen Thompson's opening goal at Love Street a couple of weeks ago looked to have eased all those worries until United shot themselves in the foot. In contrast, his opening goal for the Arabs today after 21 minutes could prove far more significant at the end of the season. David Partridge deserves tremendous credit for the build-up and the supply line. Thompson's header deceived Rutenbeck in the Dunfermline goal to give the home side a 1-0 lead. As ever, Charlie Miller probed and prompted from the midfield for United and almost added number two with this fine effort. In the second half, United should have been an easy street when Stephen Thompson had the opportunity to add number two. The Dunfermline keeper, however, was wise to his attempt at the chip. I did mention United's tendency to shoot themselves in the foot and in true style, Junior Mendes almost put them to the sword from a mistake by McCunney. Paul Gallagher saved the day. Mistakes and lapses in concentration like this one can't be good for Alex Smith's heart. At the end, United did hang on to their slender lead and when the ball eventually breaks to Danny Griffin, the second goal the home support craved for was denied on this occasion by the crossbar. Three points and safety for Alex Smith's side is one step closer. Three points and a significant step to safety here today with that win. Yeah, I think it's a massive step, uh, but it still leaves us a bit to do. We've still a bit of work to do yet. Uh, it was always going to be a tight game. It was always going to be a kind of nervy game unless we got it to two. And we had the opportunities when after we, just after we scored the goal, we had a lot of pressure and there was a lot of near things. Uh, we just couldn't get the second one. One goal settled it, but Mendes had a great opportunity to really put heart and mouth in most of the United fans here. Well, I think he did, actually. You know, the keepers made a tremendous save, so all credit to him. I mean, the United hung on, you know, they battled away, the supporters, the supporters were tremendous, as were ours, to be honest, you know, and uh, a lot of your, your colleagues have been saying there have been meaningless games, but I don't think Alec would agree this was a meaningless game. They've had to work very, very hard for the three points. Stephen, you were almost the hero at Love Street uh, a couple of weeks ago, but this goal could prove more significant today. Yeah, I was absolutely over the moon to get the goal. It was a great, fantastic run from David Partridge uh, down the left-hand side. He swung it in and I managed to get my head on it. I didn't actually know it was in until I heard the crowd cheer because it hit the back of my head, I think. So I was over the moon about it. And next week it's in your own hands? Next week it's in our own hands. If we can get a result next week... Uh, and so, I mean, St Johnston, uh, I don't think I've been getting the results that play deserves. So we've got a very difficult game next week. Uh, and uh, we'll have to be on our toes again and play to your peak to get something from the game. Yeah, massive result for Dundee United. Darren, how important could this goal be? I mean, that's another three points for them. Stephen Thompson. Yeah, it's, he's just got the boy Partridge has done unbelievable. Mm. Um, run, running from his, his own half and taking it on and puts a great crossover. And Thompson just seems to get his, his head onto it. And the goalkeeper maybe thinks it's going over the bar and then it just dips in. Uh, but crucial, crucial goal. Yeah, and that, that just gives Dundee United that three point cushion doesn't it which could prove to be so important with two games to go a three point cushion is good but they know it's going to be hard going to St Johnston is a hard game um, and, but mind you St Myrna have got a hard game because Aberdeen are mm -hmm. going well just now so um, both managers will still be biting their nails yeah. when you think Darren how impressive United have been over the past 10 or 12 games it's amazing that they're still in this situation yeah, they're still in it they've, they've, they've actually no won too many games but they've, they've not mm -hmm. been getting beat they've only been picking up points and when this Three points for a win, it makes it makes some difference. But young Paul Gallagher, who's done exceptionally well in goals, yeah. makes a good save there. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you believe that United have done enough? I know they have to win next week, but do you think they have done enough now? The confidence is there that they will go and get the points required? Well, Tom Henry will not like me saying no, this. No, I know he won't. <laughs> I, I, think, I think they have. It was a, a crucial game today. They must have 
uh, been a bit nervy before the game and mm -hmm. St. Murn must have been disappointed yesterday, 2-0 mm -hmm. uh, up and then drawn. So it was a big game for the United today and they've came away with three points. OK, but as I said this afternoon, we haven't re relegated St Mirren just yet. That's it for today's SPL action. But do join 7 points, Rangers 21 points behind. Uh, and just when you see the split there, Aberdeen 45 points, which is a point more than Dundee, but because of the way this works now, they stay in the bottom six. And uh, looking further down, three points between Dundee United and St Mirren, who is going to drop out of the SPL to allow Livingston to come up. We shall see over the next couple of weekends.